Hi, my name is Michelle Chaudhry, and today I'll be presenting on Procter and Gamble versus Amazon. So, to get started, we're going to talk a little bit about the agenda of this presentation. We'll go start off with the value discipline. We'll go after that. We'll go into their primary customers and what they use as the market segmentation variables. Next, we'll talk about building relationships and loyalty with external customers. After that, we'll talk a little bit about the usage of AI and big data to market next we'll talk about the key events that led to their digital transformation after that we're going to talk a little bit about their digital maturity and their organizational culture lastly we'll finish it off with the usage of how these companies use analytics to make their personal decisions whether it's hiring or uh, promotions so first to get started the value discipline of Procter and Gamble it consists of their consumers their people who are their employees and their brands Whereas Amazon, it's a lot about their customers, which is the same as Amazon, which is the same as P&G, their employees, small businesses, the economy, and the community. So as you can see, Amazon is a little bit more involved in the economy as well. So since Amazon is such a huge company, it makes sure that it's also helping out the economy as well. It, and it's focused on small businesses. The core values of PNG include leadership, ownership, integrity, passion for winning, and trust. Whereas Amazon, it's a lot about innovation, the small businesses that it serves, authors, job creation and investment, sustainability, and it's focused on community. Next, we'll talk about the primary customers in market segmentation. So Procter and Gamble basically targets households in needs of uh, industry products, including in the beauty industry, grooming, healthcare, fabric and home care, and baby feminine and family care products. And it channels it through retailers, authorized distributors, and their P and G shop, which is essentially their e-commerce business. Which is the online store whereas on the other hand Amazon uses a multi-segmentation strategy where it focuses a lot on all of the market segmentations where it's uh, geographic demographic behavior and psychographic some of those variables include region density age gender life cycle stage of the customers occupation degree of loyalty uh, the benefits customers are looking for, personality, user status, social class, and lifestyle. You can see Amazon is a little bit more focused and has like a broad market segmentation variables as opposed to Procter & Gamble where they have these certain industry products that they are looking to target. Next we'll talk, uh, we want to talk about their, how they build relationships and their equality programs. Procter & Gamble has a mobile app which issues a lot of coupons and discounts for uh, frequent buyers. They also have a loyalty pro program rewards for which rewards for uh, diaper purchases, so that can be really beneficial for parents. Amazon has Amazon Prime, which has over 100 million subscribers. I'm sure everyone has heard of it. There's free two-day sh uh, shipping on it, so any customer can get their products to them within two days so that's a, a big part of how they track their uh, extra end customers as well and new they also are launching a new loyalty program which is called Amazon Moments it is considered basically gives them a lot more variety there's no like cost to the customers for having the program and overall it's, it's just going to help a lot with uh, retention as well okay so Procter and Gamble has a chief analytics and insights officer who always talks about how they've always had their eye on the consumer. Traditionally, since PNG has been in business for over 180 years, they used to go from door to door to uh, to, uh, to collect data. Whereas now the company is looking to create more of uh, the next S curve for analytics and insights to find faster, better, and cheaper ways to reach the 5 billion people it 
serves around the world. So as you can see, they're still in the process and looking to expand their the way they interpret data. Whereas Amazon, I'm sure as everyone has heard, is one of the biggest users of AI and big data in our in the industry today. They use per, uh, personalized uh, recommendation system. They have books, uh, book recommendations from Kindle highlighting, one click ordering, anticipatory, shipping model, supply chain optimization, price optimization, and Amazon web services, web services which helps businesses go digitally as well. Next we're going to talk about the digital transformation and some, uh, some key events. So Parker and Gamble, they basically recognize that both uh, they, they were recognizing both the challenge the opportunity in digital technology so basically once they realize that uh, the door to door is not going to work they, they need to expand their analytics to uh, help their data is when they knew that they were wanting to become a company that's more innovative and use that to uh, the market better Whereas Amazon has been constant, uh, has had constant digital innovation throughout the years. It started as an online business, so you can see they were already a little bit like digital in a way. After that, they became the leading e-commerce business, and then they also launched Amazon Web Services and Amazon Prime, which helps a lot with digitalizing the whole company and having a digital transformation. <coughs> Next we want to talk about the, the digital maturity. Both the companies are pretty mature when it comes to innovation. PNG talks about how the consumer is boss and they in, integrate uh, integrating innovation and thinking into the organization so they come up with uh, more ways to help customers out and make everything much easier for the company to market, they also have a talent component where they seek out the best individuals to do these tasks. Whereas uh, innovation at Amazon, it consists of, uh, of artificial intelligence, robotics. They have a really huge innovative uh, culture as well with their employees. They also do a lot of research when it comes to innovation as well. And lastly, we I want to talk a little bit about how they use analytics to make personal decisions. So in this case, I decided to pick the hiring process and how these companies they hire individuals. So with um, Procter and Gamble, there's a heavy use of the assessment to make hiring decisions. There's unsupervised and then there's supervised. So the, the unsupervised consists of pre-screening assessments, model cognitive tests, adaptive reasoning tests, and English language assessment as needed. This is all like prior to the in-person interview. And the supervised ones consist of structured behavioral interviews, supervised cognitive ability tests, technical interviews as needed based on the position, and also business assessments as needed as well. Amazon is also into uh, heavy uses of assessment and however they also use simulations uh, before in-person interviews as well. So they have two kinds of assessments. So there's a work style assessment which is centered around the culture and leadership principles. So basically it determines if you are a good fit for Amazon and its, its values and the culture they have there. And also they have a work sample simulation which I've also gone through. So basically completion of curricular tasks pertaining to the position. So whatever position you apply for, this basically this like simulation basically like you go and it gives you the job description and after that you have to do tasks as you would do in real life in their position. This is all before the interview. So as you can see both of the companies have a lot of analytics that go into the hiring positions. Overall, I would say Procter & Gamble and Amazon. Procter & Gamble is a more traditional company. However, they have come a long way over the years to uh, to help out their customers, whereas Amazon has always been a prime 
company that uses a digitalization here are all my references. Thank you.